So my wife and I needed a desk for one of our bedrooms. And so I went to one of the local big box hardware stores and I purchased this desk. Uh, it was less than $150. However, there was some assembly required. Stay tuned and watch the build. Today we're gonna to be working on a desk. Uh, we've got plans already drawn up. Uh, normally what I do is I come up with the design, uh, put it on paper, just kind of sketch it out, uh, get a rough idea of what I'm trying to make and come up with. And then what I've been doing lately um, is taking that sketch and putting it into a software called SketchUp. 3D drawing here, and this is underneath. You can see the supports underneath the, the tabletop. So the plan is to cut the legs, glue them up, uh, maybe cut out the tabletop. So we'll see how far we get. Okay, so I've got each of the leg components cut out. Um, each leg will be uh, one by four with three boards laminated together with an offset so that it creates an, a half lap joint. Not sure if that's what it's actually called. So the center one by four is gonna be shorter to allow the other leg to sit in like so then that leg the end of that leg will actually look like this with the other let's see if I can get that so the one leg the upright leg will look like this so that it sits in sorry guys bear with me I'm still trying to figure this filming thing out so your leg, when it's all done, it's going to come together like that. All right, so I've got all the legs marked where I need to keep the glue within the pencil marks. So I'm just going to set these back aside and then we'll start gluing up. I'm headed back to Lowe's. The other day when I went to purchase the material for the desk, uh, they rang it up wrong. And I had some other things on my mind. I had some other errands to run. I didn't think about it. Um, I thought, well, maybe something was on sale. I just wasn't aware of or whatever. So anyway, they did not charge me enough. Um, in fact, they did not charge me for six boards. Uh, I purchased six, well, <laughs> I didn't purchase them, they gave them to me. But anyway, they didn't charge me at all and I've already cut them, you know. I could have been dishonest and said, well, that's in my favor, but that's almost $50 and I'm, I just wouldn't feel right about it. So anyway, I'm gonna go back, make this right and I'm actually gonna leave Lowe's and go to Home Depot because Lowe's doesn't carry a particular item that I'm going to buy. So I'm headed over to Home Depot as well um, and hopefully get some other work done today maybe. So anyway, we're off to Home Depot, Lowe's, I don't know, maybe run through the Chick-fil-A drive through Don't tell my wife that though. Well that was interesting, trying to explain to the lady they didn't charge me for the boards and I wanted to pay for them. She thought they were samples and I was giving them back. I'm like, no ma'am, they're not samples. <laughs> so it's all good. Everything's paid for. And now we're gonna go to Home Depot and uh, get me a new toy. So we have the legs glued up. So the next step I'm going to do is run each of them through the joiner just to clean up all the glue residue that was left over. 
and just make sure they're squared and, and true to one another. All right, we got both leg assemblies completed. Uh, got them cut down to the final dimensions. What I'm gonna do now is fill in these nail holes with putty. We've got the legs assembled. We've got the nail holes filled with wood putty. We've sanded them all down, so now we're ready to paint them. I got the first coat of paint on the legs. So what I'll do is I'll let this dry. And then I will come back and just lightly sand it and then I will apply another coat. This morning I came out to put a protective finish on it and I decided to go with the spray on product, the Minwax Polycrylic in clear satin. And this product is an awesome product, but sometimes I have issues with it. Not with the product, just <laughs> not being very good at spraying. So this morning sprayed and it doesn't look bad from a distance, but if you look just right, you can see splotches right here in the light. And if you come up here, I had it standing upright, so I've got some heavy runs um, all, all along the top here. It's kind of hard to see. There you go, there's some. I mean, you can see the heavy runs. And again, it's not the product's fault, it's my fault. Um, I had the, the leg assembly setting up, standing upright and I really didn't have enough light on it, I think, cause I couldn't see where I was laying the spray down and I just oversprayed it. Um, and that's called, that caused the runs and the, the, the blotchiness down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna, I just wanna take a moment to encourage you guys. Um, while I know I'm not a very good sprayer <laughs> with finishes or whatever, I'm gonna continue to try just so that I can keep improving and improving. Eventually I'll get it right. I'll, I'll figure out what not to do and eventually I'll be doing what to do. And so I just want to encourage you guys, if you know, if you, there's something that you're um, just hesitant about trying because you're, you're fearful of failing or not being successful at it, um, just go for it. Um, you, you learn by your mistakes. And so I want to show you the result of my mistake. Um, and I may end up leaving it, uh, to be honest with you. So this is the one, um, like I said, it's black. From a distance, it doesn't look bad. Um, it, it would probably work in our, you know, a bedroom, a son's bedroom, but that's just not me. So I'm, I've sanded one down and I wanna see if I can get some light. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna pull it up here on the table so you can see it better. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I sanded it down. And the plan was to repaint it. Um, but I'm kind of liking how the grain is showing. Um, I think this would be more rustic. No, I'm not an interior designer, so I don't know what actually constitutes rustic versus contemporary, traditional, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think the solid black would be more traditional or contemporary. I don't know. I'm not even gonna say what it is. But anyway, the black is solid, <laughs> not solid. But I'm thinking about just putting uh, the finished protective coat on this. I think this will also look good. It's not the original uh, picture I had in mind of the finished product. But I think the way I'm gonna finish the top, I think this will look, look pretty good. Um, I don't think I'd go wrong either way. Um, so yeah, leave a comment what you guys think. Um, solid black or the rustic distressed look. So anyway, like I was saying, sometimes our mistakes lead to successes. And um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this other one down and I'm gonna get my wife out here because she has the final say um, as to how it's gonna end up. So what happened was... <laughs> it's gonna cost me money. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, maybe. So you can come out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working on the legs of the desk and I came out this morning and I made a boo-boo. So I'm fixing it. Okay. Because that's what she tells me to do is to fix it. Yes. So, Part of his main job is to fix everything. Okay. So I want you to look at the the product that was damaged with the runs. Okay. And this would be a solid, you know. So this is, I've sanded it down to redo it. You already and, know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I want your opinion. Oh, no hesitation. I kind of figured. So, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna yes. leave it like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this one up. Um, this looks so, yeah. And I'm gonna sand the other one now. And this. <laughs> Are you done? No, I'm not done with you. <laughs> so we're gonna sand this down. You wanna help sand? Baby, I gotta work. Okay. She's gotta go work. The cross members between the legs. There'll be another one out here and then one at the bottom on the back. What I've done is I've taken one by four and I've clamped a one by four on the front and the back of the legs. Uh, the reason I did that is so that I don't leave a clamp indention on the leg assembly itself. Plus this is a, allows me to make sure that this cross brace is flush with the top of the leg assembly and it'll help keep things in place while you screw it in. Uh, the one thing with Craig screws um, or pocket hole screws, if you don't have them clamped down real good, they have a tendency to move on you um, and they don't remain flush. So just word of advice, clamp it real good and you shouldn't have a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this one in. Um, I am using inch and a quarter screws uh, because we're using three quarter material. All right, for the top braces, I had the screws facing up because the desk top will hide those screws. Uh, for this back one, I'm gonna put toward the back of the desk. Uh, if I may plug them, I haven't decided yet. It will be up against the wall so it won't be seen. All right, we got the braces sanded. I uh, got it up on the table, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray them. And then I will sand them down to match the leg assemblies. All right, so we've got the cross braces painted. And what I'll do next is once this dries, I'll come back and I'll just rough it up a little bit. The base is finished, other than the final protective coating. So what I'm doing now is drilling holes um, in the side of these one by sixes uh, so that I can insert the wooden dowels. I got the boards, uh, you probably can't see them, but I got, I got them numbered. One, two, three, four, and five so that I can keep them in order. I drilled holes. What I'm gonna do is um, insert dowel pins in there um, and those holes will line up with, with this board here and that'll help hold the boards in place when I do my glue up. I got my desktop laid out here in order.
All right, so I've got it all clamped up. And um, I don't know, may have enough clamps. May not, we'll find out. It looks pretty good from what I can tell. It's got a little bit of glue squeeze out, but we're gonna let it set overnight or at least till later this afternoon. We'll come back and check on it and see, see how we did. After what seems like all day of sanding, I'm ready to put the stain on the desktop. All right, so we'll let that dry for a little bit and then we'll wipe off all the excess, come back and put the final coat on. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be working on a desk, um, just a regular, Not sure if that's what it's actually called. This leg is going to consist of. All right, let me start over because that stream is loud. It's going to paint on black. Um, I had some. Oh, crap. Let me just tell you this building a desk and filming building a desk are not the same thing. 